Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing. Out of Zion. And thus may the Lord Almighty, our God and Saviour, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. For our help is in the name of this Lord, who made heaven and earth. As we come to the end of this day, we acknowledge our need of forgiveness, and so we say, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins. Heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. With the confidence that our requests are answered, we pray before the ending of this day. Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. Desiring to hear from God before we sleep, we attentively listen to his word, as we find it in Philippians chapter 3 verses 8 to 11, which says, I want to gain Christ to be found in him through the righteousness that comes from his faithfulness, to know him and both his resurrection power and the fellowship of his sufferings. And so conformed to his death to somehow obtain resurrection. The best spiritual writers speak about a dark night, the time when all spiritual blessings are withdrawn and God himself seems absent. They view such times as Paul in tonight's reading as the pathway to life in all its fullness. This challenges many contemporary spiritualities but it speaks comfortingly to our hearts when we ourselves are in the valley of deepest darkness. It is the path that the Saviour passed. Lord Jesus, the memories of your own profound darkness are still with you. Can we even say with awe that they haunt you. As we experience our own night, remind us that you have been this way. You are tenderly present with us in the way and that this path leads to life. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So may the Lord our God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give us 
his peace.